Hey there, welcome to this week's edition of The Forum. I'm Mark Willard with ESPN LA 710. Arash Markazi on my left here with ESPNLA.com. Arash, uh, you know, the Lakers have their fans so excited right now because everybody loves a shopping spree. It's like people can't even wait. It's only this season and they're already excited for next season because the unknown is out there and they can go shopping and a big part of the reason they can do that is Kobe Bryant, well, every contract almost comes off the books and that is a big number coming off the books however uh, they've said they want to keep him he said he's not going to go anywhere uh, his health is still at issue if he's not hundred percent at any point for this season what do they do next summer and more importantly what do they owe him after 17 years with the club well they owe him the opportunity to leave on his own terms listen if Kobe Ryan wants to come back if he wants to play two more years if he wants to play three more years he should be able to do that. I mean, the, the worst thing that I can imagine is Kobe Bryant playing with someone else, which he said he will not do. So with that being said, you know, perhaps he's not going to make as much as he's making this season. But to be honest, if you're Kobe Bryant, you want to perhaps take a pay cut to go after a LeBron James or a Carmelo Anthony or someone like that because you want your last two years to be competitive years. Yeah, he, I mean, he said, I want to make as much as I can. But I think he understands what, what you're getting at. To give you an idea of what uh, Kobe Bryant was looking at the last few years, take a look at these incredibly <laughs> gaudy numbers that are coming off the books. This young man has made $130 million approximately just in the last five years from the Lakers. So the question becomes, what do you do off of that? It's it, As you said, he's not going to go anywhere. No. The Lakers have said he's not going anywhere. But I don't know that they've sat down and had a discussion about what that salary next year is going to look like. Maybe yeah. they have. But for everybody's rules to fit, you're not going anywhere, we're not letting you go anywhere, you got to come to an agreement on a number. What, what's the number? Yeah, well, for, first of all, when you look at how much he's worth and how much the team is worth, this is not that much. I mean, I know it's a lot of money. It's certainly more than I hear you make. But what I'm saying is, so they are a, right? This, this is a global brand, and par partly because of Kobe Bryant and the influence that he has. So I'm sure that they have sat down at some point and talked. Then if they haven't yet, that they will. To, to basically say, Kobe, here's our plan. We're going to go after LeBron. We're going to go after Carmelo. We're going to go after these guys. You will help us do that, and here's our plan. But clearly, if they're going to go after these guys, he can't make 30 plus million. And to be honest, at this point in his career, he probably should not make that much. Right, no doubt. I mean, I hear everyone throw the number 10 around. Is that the right number? I mean, I don't know what would be the right number for him. Here's the thing for, for me, like, I'm taking a pay cut for LeBron, or I'm taking a pay cut for Carmelo. I'm not taking a pay cut for Ooh, whoever. Dang. Yeah. I'm not right. doing that, you know, because basically at that point, does that get me closer to a championship? No. So, well, but regardless, he's going to be taking less, so he's going to take some what of a pay cut. What I'd love for, to, for, for them to do is think long term. Like, we would like to have you part of the team. We'd like to give you a percentage of the team. We'd like to, you know, he's a Laker for life. I think when he retires, whenever he does, he will statistically be the greatest Laker of all time. If, if not already. Statistically. Uh, he, exactly. Statistically. Sure. Yeah. You, you mentioned off the top that you actually do think that the Lakers – owe him something and I think that's interesting because it's pretty rare in sports where you can actually say that I mean there is no loyalty in sports and that we see that time and time again but I actually agree with you at least on a certain front here I mean if he's going to demand a max salary they don't know, owe him anything sure. but their fan base is so tied to this guy uh, there are so many people that love Kobe almost above the Lakers themselves at this point uh, if in some way this was to go awry, you're talking about a PR mess that would be well, unprecedented. That's why there, when there was that talk of you should um, amnesty Kobe or whatnot, I said that, that that's a conversation non-starter. That's never going to happen. The PR fallout, the PR nightmare of cutting ties with Kobe, and I guarantee you he was not going to sit down and uh, retire. So can you imagine if Kobe Bryant went across the hallway to the Clippers? Hmm. I mean, you would never live that down. So listen... They're going to figure it out. Kobe wants to retire with this team. They want him to retire with him. They just have to figure out a way to make it work. Still very productive, though. That's what oh, makes 100%. it easy. These, now, the, the narrative could change. How this season goes. If something goes funky with the foot. But, yeah. but right now, uh, it's an easy conversation to have. Yeah. And we just had it. That's Arash Markazi. I'm Mark Willard. See you next time on the forum.